a typical lighting scenario. Hard sunlight streams into the room through a gap in the curtains. But once we cut to the close-up, this hard light feels a little too hard and we might want to soften it up a little. We may go straight to diffusion for this, but there's actually another solution we can use to soften things up a bit whilst maintaining some of the punch and specularity inherent to hard light. And we can borrow this technique from fashion photography. Although it kind of looks like it here, we didn't light our scene with the sun itself. We actually used a Nanlite Forza 720B set to 3600 Kelvin for an L lens attached directed into the window through the gap in the curtains. This provided our sunlight, and it works great for the wide. But it's a bit too much for the close-up, and we want to soften up some of this harsh texture on the skin. Now we don't want to remove the hard feeling of the light, we want specular reflections on the skin, and we want a fast fall-off into shadow. After all, we still need to represent the hard light of the sun on the face. Let's go for the obvious option to soften up the light slightly. We'll set up a very thin piece of diffusion in front of our subject just for the close-up. In this case, we're simply using a length of cotton material we have access to, which is thin enough not to diffuse the light too much. We can see the effect of the lighter diffusion in comparison to the direct hard light from the Fresnel. Shadow edges are slightly softened, and we still have a quick fall off into shadow as we place the diffusion close to the face. Although the shadow detail itself is now raised slightly due to the slight change in the spread of light. The lighter diffusion has worked in the way we anticipated, and it cuts in with the wide shot nicely. But is it a huge difference? Not really. We might want something a bit more noticeable, slightly more forgiving on the skin, whilst retaining the fall off and some of the specular reflections. We'll change out our thin diffusion to a small gridded softbox. We've now replaced the hard light coming from outside and supplemented it with a light inside. This way, we've increased the thickness of our diffusion, whilst keeping the size of the light relatively small. It's definitely a bigger source than our direct Fresnel, making for a smoother, more diffused light on the face, and the grid helps us to direct it into a tighter angle, retaining some of this fall-off into shadow. And when compared to our direct Fresnel light slightly diffused, we can see the texture on the skin has been further softened, yet still retains some specularity due to the smaller size of our softbox. So we could leave this here. We've softened the light slightly twice, without taking too much away from the specularity or reflectiveness on the face. That's two ways to soften up hard light for a close-up, which still blends with the hard light from the wide shot. But what if we want to soften the skin even further? It feels like this wouldn't be possible. We're already shooting through diffusion with our softbox, so our only other option would be increasing the size of the light source. That's how we get softer light, after all. But as soon as we start increasing the size of the light, we'll be pushing the softness too far. It'll no longer look like sunlight. You might have heard of a light modifier referred to as a beauty dish. You'll often see these used in the world of fashion or makeup photography, as they're great for accentuating the shape and contours of the face. This is because of the way they're designed, as a silver parabolic dish. The light fixture itself is blocked by a small reflector plate, which bounces the light back inside the dish. This light is then projected from the dish into more of a focused beam due to its parabolic shape. This makes for a softer, yet, at the same time, focused light, creating a very particular look. It's punchy and directed, like a hard light, but also larger, 
like a soft light. Along with the silver reflective surface, which helps to create specularity on the skin, it makes for a great middle ground between a soft and hard light. You can also get a beauty dish with a white surface, but since we're looking for more specular reflections to match better with our sunlight, we're going to shoot with a silver one. Compare this to our previous close-up, lit with the small, gridded softbox. Our beauty dish is slightly bigger, lending to some of the increased softness, but the overall look comes from the characteristics of the beauty dish. Our light has been fine-tuned into a cleaner, softer, yet at the same time, punchy look, retaining the fall-off into shadow, and smoothing out the texture on the skin towards the centre of the light whilst maintaining a lot of the specularity. When compared to the direct hard light from the Fresnel, you can see we've been able to utilise the beauty dish to create a softer look for our close-up, but with some of the characteristics of a hard light source still intact. And since we lose detail on the wide, since we're not so close to our subject, you can see that lighting with the direct hard Fresnel for the close-up doesn't actually make much sense. It doesn't match. Whereas selecting the silver beauty dish for our close-up has pretty much matched up with our wide perfectly. Taking inspiration from another creative medium is always a good way to improve on your own practices. And this even applies when it comes down to technical elements like what you use to light your images. Support my channel on Patreon and get ad-free extended YouTube videos, along with extra breakdowns and previews of upcoming videos. Watch parts 1, 2, 4 and 5 of my Lighting with Colour mini course here on YouTube right now. But if you want an exclusive part 3, no ads and downloadable files, head over to my website or become a patron and stream the 46 minute tutorial. I colour grade my work using Dehancer. Use my code Rob Ellis to get 10% off. I use music from AudioSocket in my videos. Click my referral link in the video description and use the code Rob Ellis when you sign up for a free month of the best and most diverse range of stock music available. Use my code Rob Ellis over at Zyro to get up to 81% off your website or storefront, plus three extra months free along with a custom domain for a year.